Hey guys, AJ with Relentless Racing. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, check out the description for the link to episode four. In episode five, we're gonna take a look at the timing chain and the timing chain tensioner and hopefully answer a lot of your guys' questions. In addition, we're gonna install the oil control valve, the camshaft sprockets, the water pump, front main seal, and the alternator. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Also, if you would like to see more of this content, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Enjoy the video. Prior to removing the oil control valve O-ring, make a note of the oil ring groove. Remove the O-ring and replace it with a new one in the correct oil ring groove. This is the oil control valve filter that is in this guy right here. Here's the part number, and all you gotta do is take that thing out, stuff it in here, and what's interesting is I couldn't find a torque for this, but I did find something on a 2ZZ, and it was 22 foot-pounds. Also, this washer is steel, it is not aluminum. So I'm just gonna reuse that guy, and then that guy goes back into it. This just goes like this. Snaps right in and that's it. Install the timing chain on the crankshaft timing sprocket with the number one mark link aligned with the timing mark on the crankshaft timing sprocket. Have a friend hold the timing chain while you install the crankshaft timing sprocket with an impact socket. Using a 24 mm open wrench, align the timing chain marked links with the VVT timing sprocket and camshaft timing sprocket marks. Verify the chain tensioner slipper is held on the cylinder head stopper. Do not apply bond to two to three threads at the end of the bolt. I made a mistake here. The drive bell idler should be installed in the upper hole on the timing chain cover. 
Rotate the crankshaft counterclockwise and listen for the two pops. The first pop is the timing chain snapping, and the second pop is the plunger releasing. Then, rotate the crankshaft clockwise and verify the camshaft sprockets align at top dead center. Please watch and listen at the same time. We are so close to getting this 1ZZ off the engine stand. In the next episode, we're going to attempt to actually finish this rebuild, so subscribe and hit that notification button. This is AJ with Relentless Racing, stay relentless and I'll see you on the track. <music>